Right, Brian. Well, at face value, it won't accomplish anything. But when you dig a little deeper, you'll realize it'll most likely lead to a local law getting passed, which would call for non-discriminatory employment practices and equal treatment of all residents in public settings. So when looking at the resolution, it serves to implement these following things. It affirms every person to be treated with respect and live without fear, regardless of their orientation. They affirm that LGBTQ people in North Carolina are, in fact, vulnerable to discrimination in many areas of life life due to a lack of statewide non-discrimination protections. And the board says they strongly support all people being able to build a life, raise a family, or start a business in Mecklenburg County. It also calls upon Mecklenburg County citizens and businesses and cities to adopt non-discrimination policies. So the board's also hearing from a variety of speakers regarding the topic of LGBTQ discrimination, one of which is from the LGBTQ Democrats of Mecklenburg County. And it's my assumption that this resolution will pass. And we'll, now we'll just have to wait to see what actions are going to follow those commissioners' votes. Yeah, Emma, I understand that this is more of a, a symbolic gesture for the board, but are we going to see any actual legislation to protect this community from discrimination anytime soon? Right, Brian. Well, last week we found out the city of Charlotte's actually working on a non-discrimination ordinance, but there isn't a timeline yet on when it's going to be introduced. And also, an interesting note on that, though, Councilman Greg Phipps, who was narrowly appointed last night for the at-large seat, previously voted against the non-discrimination ordinance for LGBTQ community members back in 2015. But today, he said in a press event that he is now in favor of passing an ordinance to protect that community.